Welcome to Sports Report Radio inside the Ivy on the phone. One of the Cubs' top prospects. This guy is a flamethrower. He's a great, great pitcher. Young pitcher in the Cubs minor league system. Professional baseball player, Cole Franklin. Cole, thank you so much for taking your time to be on Inside the Ivy on Sports Report Radio. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys for having me. Cole, tell us a little bit about yourself and tell our listeners and our viewers. And I mean, who, who is Cole Franklin? Uh, who, who are who are you? What kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and what what kind of makes you tick? Okay, uh, well, I grew up in a small town, Oklahoma, uh, Spire, Oklahoma, to be exact. And uh, I grew up in a in a baseball family. My uh, dad played ten years professionally, and my uh, my uncle played thirteen years. So um, I always kind of grew up in a baseball family, and I always knew, growing up, that I, I had that baseball was my biggest my biggest dream. And uh, so I kind of ever since that I've always had just them kind of pushing me when I when like things were getting tough in baseball, and they kind of they knew how everything was going to go for me. And so growing up in a baseball family, I I, I knew that for sure that baseball was what I wanted to do, even though I played basketball and, and football. But I, I knew the end result was I wanted to play professional baseball as a job. That's pretty cool. I mean, both, you know, you obviously have some, you know, history being, a, you know, in, in a family of professional athletes, so you kind of understand what the role is of, of being a professional athlete. Uh, with you being drafted right out of high school, how big a deal is that being drafted out of high school and going into – professional baseball was that kind of unique for you compared to some others that maybe have gone to college yeah absolutely I the biggest thing was for me was uh kind of talking to my dad <clears throat> my dad and my uncle and like having to self-evaluate and try like seeing if I was mature enough to go out and play and you know pursue my dream other than going to three or four years in college and kind of getting the real world experience under my belt so I think kind of self-evaluating was huge for me, and I think I felt like I was re- I was ready, and I felt like I was mature enough to go get professional hitters out. I mean, Cole, you grew up with your uncle and your dad, obviously being professional players. I mean, you got drafted by an iconic franchise, the Chicago Cubs. I mean, do you sit there? I mean, obviously at Eugene, the South Bend Cubs, and through the organization. I mean, do you think, wow, I'm actually playing for this organization that's been around for over a hundred years? Is it, how cool is that? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, growing up, you have, you know, you, people want to see those big teams, like, succeed. And so, like, especially now getting drafted to one of the, like, this, like, historical team is, like, I mean, it's what people dream about. So I always, always try to make sure I, I never take a day for granted because I know that there's millions of people who want to be in my spot. And especially with Chicago Cubs, it's, I mean, they're just an unbelievable organization i mean cole you're you're a pitcher what do you like to do do you like to be a starter you like to be a reliever middle reliever i mean you know eventually what do you think you'll be i mean a lot of times guys change when they come in from high school or they come in from college what do you think your role is going to be and what do you like to do the best uh, i'd say definitely starting for sure i just feel like i feel like i go out there and i can kind of control the game as a starter and like you set your own pace and so I was, I, I, I like having that control for uh, like multiple innings, I guess, more than a reliever. So you, you said you grew up small town Oklahoma. Were you, were you a Sooners fan or were you Oklahoma State? What, what is, what's the, what's the college choice there in Oklahoma? Or do you just follow everybody? Uh, yeah, it was, it was big boomer Sooner. It was, we hated the orange growing up. <laughs> yes, I mean. Quite a tradition of sports in Oklahoma. Um, how big? How big's baseball in Oklahoma? Um. Well, I guess it's kind of select states. So I grew. I grew up in small town, uh, played baseball then, and then I I moved to a, a bigger town, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And so going from like Spyro, where baseball wasn't too big, to Broken Arrow, which is kind of a pretty big travel, like baseball thing. And so, um. I'd say overall baseball is decently big, but I wouldn't say like it like would overwhelm someone so big in Oklahoma. 
I mean, Cole, what do you what do you tell families? I mean, we have a lot of we have a lot of listeners and viewers um, out there through our social media channels. I mean, what do you tell them about if their son early on shows potential? Let's say the you know seven eight years old, you know, shows potential to be a professional athlete. I mean, whether it's baseball, basketball, football. I mean, what do you tell them? I mean, I mean, what's it like for you being a professional athlete? At, how old are you? Uh, 20 are you 20 years old 20 yes okay yes 20 i mean what what's it like what do you tell these parents do you encourage the kids to do it do you encourage them i I mean what what's kind of your advice i know that's kind of throwing it out there but but what do you tell people that you know kids that want to pursue their dream is that something you encourage them to do well yeah i i kind of i like i feel like i tell the parents like kind of let the kid decide don't ever force them to anything but don't ever like let them quit anything as like as in just because it was getting hard through a rough time or anything. Kind of, I feel like if you kind of let the kids decide and don't force it down their mouth. Like even though my, my like I was grew up in a baseball family, I, I never felt like I had to play. I was because I loved it. So I was like, as, especially growing up, you like you'll figure out that kind of just let them go through and decide I mean, their path and don't try to like, carve it one way for them. Well, that's pretty good advice. Pretty good advice. Hey, Cole, let's let's just talk a little bit and then we'll finish up here. Let's talk about spring training. I mean, how, how, how crazy was that? You guys are out there training and then all of a sudden you get an email or somebody tells you that it's all shutting down. I mean, how, as pitch, as a, being a pitcher, I mean, you guys are, I call you unique unique animal because you guys have to warm up cool down how, how do you stay in shape and how do you get trained and and during this kind of kind of strange time when we don't really know what's going on or when anything's going to start what what happens right now yeah i know it was so um yeah it's it's super weird it's just a weird situation to be in but they like i've been out here or I, i'm still out here right now in az i fly back home saturday but i uh I was up here and I was kind of like getting ready, like kind of building myself up for like, you know, season for spring training for minor leaguers. And then as like this, like you kind of just see on social media and then it kept getting worse with the NBA and NHL. And then so you kind of saw it coming, but like, I guess it's different when you're expecting it to when it actually happens. And so it was kind of just out of the blue, like where we just didn't know what to do. And so they kind of, but the, the coach has been really good about keeping in contact with us and giving us programs like when we go back home to stay on, just so when all this passes through that we'll have a good routine like coming back. Well, that's good. That's good. We're planning on it. If they do spring training again, if they go out, we'll, we're going to come out there when they do it again. So we'll come out and we'll catch up with you out there in the backfields back there in Mesa. Yeah, for sure. But Cole, you know, I, I just want to thank you for taking your time. I know this is kind of a unique time. You know, you're training, you're doing stuff, and it, it just, I, I want to thank you for taking your time to come on and talk to us a little bit here. And, and hopefully, as your career progresses, we can continue to follow you. I mean, we just, I, I personally love minor league baseball. I, I know you want to get to the majors, which that's your goal, and you're going to do that. But minor league baseball is just such a great, great to me, just a great thing to watch and, and see players develop as they go through early on. But Cole, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it taking your time to do this for me. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me. It was, it was a blast getting to talk to you.